Thank you, Glass, and thank you, of course, uh, for giving me the opportunity to share with you this uh, adventure, the adventure of the of Small Georgos. So I am really grateful uh, to Glass, uh, who suggested that I make this presentation today about the adventure of a small boy called Georgos Ioannou, who has been strangling since uh, his birth with an F and its incredible complications. Uh, this uh, presentation not only aims to inform you about a rare case of a young NF patient, but also to encourage you to invest to NFPU uh, under the umbrella of which all the national associations for NF can communicate, exchange experience, and help their members to get a better treatment even outside the borders of their own countries. I represent the Panhellenic Association for NF1, NF2, and Spanomatosis Life with NF, which is a small association established in Athens in 2013. Since then, a great progress has been made for raising awareness for the NF patients in Greece. So far, Life with NF has achieved the following the creation of a reference clinic for NF pediatric patients in Children's Hospital Hagia Sophia in Athens. The change of the scientific approach for children with NF by the public service of the Ministry of Education responsible to provide special support for their special learning difficulties and the registration of NF in the national catalog as a permanent irreversible and non-curable disease, so as to reassure a better support of patients' needs by the state. Despite all our efforts, there are still many problems to be solved. As a patients, parents, and caregivers, we are confronted with major adversities in Greece. The biggest problem nowadays concerns the absence of specialists in Greece in Greek regional hospitals which forces the patients to travel to the hospitals of Athens, Thessaloniki, Patras, and Heraklion for a better care, which increases the number of the patients in the main public hospitals of these cities and reduces the capacity of the clinicians to provide them with the appropriate treatment. That is why, besides the sufficient technical equipment of our clinics, the patients usually face huge problems in arranging appointments and, most important, in having severe surgeries or getting novel treatments. Unfortunately, those were the problems which uh, Yorgos' parents had to face since his birth. Yorgos was born in Athens on, on 16th of September 2017. His parents, Leonidas and Alexandra, were informed about the rare condition of their child, neurofibromatosis type 1, the day of its birth. Yorgo symptoms at that time were the cafe or less spots and the oversized head. A genetic test confirmed the doctor's diagnosis, that is, the genetic variation in the NF1 gene. After a year, the baby started to become weaker. Yorgos could not gain weight. He had problems with his right arm and his right leg, and he was feeling tired all the time. Except from these signs of fatigue, his eyes became smaller, with the eyeballs sinking inwards. His parents visited several clinicians, and the little boy had several checkups in order to find the cause of all these problems. After a detailed medical examination, Yorgos was diagnosed with two gliomas on his left optic nerve and the tumor of the hypophysis was, was a very rare oncological case. The tumor caused a second rare syndrome, the diencephalic syndrome, which caused severe and life-threatening complications like this of little Yorgos. This rare disorder is seldom associated with uh, neurofibromatosis type 1. It is caused by a tumor that is usually located in the diencephalon, a portion of the brain just above the brain stem, and causes symptoms that include the failure to gain weight and grow, as would be expected based upon the age and the gender, abnormal progressive thinness and weakness, 
vomiting, vision abnormalities, headaches, and pallor. The encephalic syndrome is treated by surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, and or molecular targeted therapy. Because of the seriousness of Yorgos' health condition, his parents searched for advice by specialists in Vienna's General Hospital, as several issues needed to be resolved. The specialists of that hospital, with these of the Austrian Center of Expertise for Neurofibromatosis, that was set up by the Austrian Patient Organization, NF Kinder, together with the Medical University Clinic, who were experienced in such complicated conditions as that of Georgos, study, uh, as that of Georgos studied his examinations and inclined that the child had to undergo a surgery. The goal of that surgery was to remove the tumor grown in the hypothesis, which compressed the vessels and caused the major problem. Another challenge, though, had to be faced, the high cost of the operation. The parents addressed to the Panhellenic Association for NF, Life with NF, and to the non-profit organization Little Prince, uh, which supports financially similar efforts for transferring children to foreign hospitals in, in order to undergo special treatments or surgeries. Given that little is known about these rare diseases, Little Prince organized many events for fundraising. Among them, a rock concert had been organized with the support of Life with an F uh, that also made appeal to patients and members of its association, and the amount needed was finally gathered within the next two months, thanks to the help of many private donors. On the 8th of December 2019, Jorgos and his parents traveled to Vienna to check into the Vienna General Hospital for that severe and dangerous surgery. A huge obstacle was the deficient weight of the boy. That is why, as soon as he entered the Vienna hospital, he went on a short-term nutritional diet for gaining weight. The operation was scheduled for the 12th of December. Fortunately, Yorgos' parents were not alone. Klaus Rey, our president of NFPU, and also the president of the Austrian patient NF Kinder, uh, we mentioned that both uh, Greek and Austrian organizations are under the umbrella of NFPU, had been informed by Labrinis Odiropoulou, the president of the Greek Association and me, and uh, he stood beside Yorgos' parents. He had suggested to them to contact the head of the neurosurgery department, Dr. Thomas Czech, and the head of the NF department, Dr. Amedeo Azizi whose valuable experience in NF patients, severe operations would be indispensable for their case. Thanks to them and to the other specialists of the same hospital, as Dr. Mike Hadzikalis, the little boy was operated successfully. The threatening tumors had been partly removed and the major danger of Yorgos' health had been eliminated. During the past year, Yorgos stayed at the Greek Pediatric Oncological Hospital in Athens, Elpida, and he had chemotherapies for the shrinkage of the gliomas and the rest of the brain tumor. His recent imaging exams were satisfying, and they showed that the tumors continued to be stable. Unfortunately, the optic pathway gliomas had caused damage on both the optic nerves and resulted in severe vision problems. Furthermore, our little hero had suffered from seizures during the chemo, but he managed to complete more than two cycles of them. Despite of all these serious problems, the child's health had improved significantly. He has gained weight uh, and so far, and he looks better now. The pandemic brought uh, much inconvenience to his parents, who feel afraid of their child's health against the threat of coronavirus. As a matter of fact, Jorgo's uh, siblings cannot visit him at the hospital, and his parents take all the indispensable measures when they enter the oncological unit to stay with him. They plan to visit again Vienna's hospital, but they are waiting the end of the new lockdown so as to make preparations for their visit.
However, Yorgos is still continuing with the treatment against the seizures and he's receiving chemotherapy too. Yorgos is one of the many children who suffer from the unpredictable and serious effects of neurofibromatosis. NF doesn't care about country borders. That is why we have to support the NFPU association. All NF patient organizations have the same goals. By collaborating with each other, we can reach our goals faster. The collaboration between the Greek and the Austrian NF organization help the family of little, little Yorgos to enable him to recover and finally save him. We are standing together for a better future of our NF patients and we need your understanding and help. Thank you for your attention.